Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining us. First at four, remembering and honoring Cardinals owner Bill Bidwell, who passed away today at the age of 88. Bidwell was a giant in sports, but also a giant figure in all of Arizona with his contributions on and off the field. And of course, the big headline here, and we all know this if you've been in the Valley for any length of time, without his presence, there would not be NFL football in Arizona. But we also wouldn't have had as many contributions to charities and organizations all across the state. When the team moved to Arizona from St. Louis in 88, the cards instantly became a part of the fabric of Arizona and forever changed our sports landscape. And Arizona Cardinals player Larry Fitzgerald said today, for those of us who knew him well, he will be remembered most of all as a champion for his three loves, faith, family, and football. Rest in peace, Mr. B. Mr. B is what people who knew him affectionately called him. Well, joining us now on the couch is, is Bruce Cooper, a man who has covered the Cardinals for many, many years. Coop, you're an Arizona native, and, and I want to take you back because we both remember when the Valley didn't have NFL right. football. And, and a lot, there were always a lot of teasings that went on. There was a group that was led by Bart Starr that was trying to bring a team here, and then the Eagles used the Valley for leverage to get a better stadium deal in Philadelphia and the it Colts. never happened Colts. the Colts yep never happened so as a native as a person who grew up here what was it like when NFL football finally arrived in the Valley it was like you were jumping for joy matter of fact I remember the Cardinals would stage I mean the Valley would stage exhibition games for NFL teams to play in the Valley to show their support and their energy and, and passion for the game of football even, even the expansion uh, franchises that came up. I remember 76, Tampa Bay Buccaneers got one. We th Arizona thought they would get, get in as well. It never happened. So to see 1988 come to fruition, it was a great, great moment uh, here, here in the Valley. And I'm going to tell you something. Fans were so energized that they started filing lawsuits because the car, they, a lot of fans were left out of had the opportunity to purchase season mm. tickets. You know, the Cardinals have these uh, personal seat licenses and a lottery to, to get away these. It was such a demand for the tickets. They couldn't sure. accommodate them. Also, there was this lawsuit. And so, sure enough, that first year here in the Valley in 1988, there the Cardinals are at seven wins, four losses, tied with the Eagles and the Giants for first place in the NFC East, a three-way tie, seven and four. So much energy, so much passion going on. And then their quarterback, starting quarterback, Neil Lomax, suffered a hip injury, knocked out for the rest of the season, really ended his career. Cardinals finished that year seven and nine, mm -hmm. and it just went downhill and downhill and downhill from there until 1998 when they finally made the playoffs. Yeah. You know, you have seen Mr. Bidwell at so many events in all your years of covering sports, from press conferences to games to events on and off the field. What if you can tell us if one of your favorite memories of him would be? It's one in which I saw him outside of being an owner. You know, every just like today, every week, there's a weekly press conference for the coaches every Monday. All right, to talk about the upcoming team and review Sunday's game. Well, Mr. B, he loved telling jokes. And Gil Tyree, who worked at TV3 at the time, oh, Mr. B loved coming up to him and myself to tell these jokes. And Gil would laugh so hard and so, <laughs> so much at it that I think Mr. Mr. B got more joy out of laughing at Gil, Aww. laughing at his joke, as opposed to the joke he just yeah. told. And so it, 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 it was an opportunity to see Mr. B outside of being an owner, outside of being that, you know, that uh, staunch guy. Uh, it, 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 was, it was really special, but the man enjoyed Killing jokes. And extremely oh, so charitable. And a lot of times it was quiet charity. He didn't send out notices to the TV stations that they were going to make an, a big announcement with a, with a check presentation. He just did it because he had a kind heart. He did. And let me tell you something else he did. The man was a pioneer in hiring minorities. I remember when they first came here, I met a guy named Bob Wallace. He was a Cardinals general counsel, a guy that uh, negotiated a lot of the uh, player contracts. Black man, very nice guy. And then I had the pleasure of meeting Adele Harris. Mm -hmm. Adele Harris was the director of community relations for the Cardinals. Sweet, sweet lady, I love her to death. Uh, she was the first female minority NFL executive. And then Rod, Rod Graves. Rod Graves, 
uh, Mr. B hired him as the general manager. And Mr. Gr and, I, and I'm telling you, I got a special love for Mr. Gray because he did some things and reached out to me when I lost my son. Really, really special yeah. moment. And, and Graves hired Dennis Green. So there you had a black general manager and a black head coach sitting at the same time. And Mr. B has been honored by the league for his hiring practices of minorities. So yes, Mr. B is a special man. And they were the first in the league too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, for Dennis Green, he was the first NFL coach, African-American. Same with the woman that you had mentioned. I mean, that was a major barrier that was broken. Yeah, M M Mr. Mr. B, I, I, like I said, he, he gave a lot of opportunities to women. And so it was, and see his son, it, it was no surprise. You guys remember Jen Welter? Yeah. first yes. female yes, uh, 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 coach. assistant coach right and so in the, in the league and so they often give opportunities to uh, others and and I, and I and I love I love them for it well, thanks for your insight incredible yeah. I mean it's a big obviously loss. left a huge legacy yeah. thanks so much